They told me, boys, don't cry or play with Barbies. So my whole life I've tried my hardest to be the man that they wanted me to be. Prompts, Summer, Best Friends to Lovers, featuring Oikawa Family. Day 4, Family Intervention. Iwa, Iwa, Iwa-chan. Oiko whispered as he shook Iwaizumi awake. I want to Sokawa. Iwaizumi slapped Oikawa's hand away and turned his back to the brunette. Iwa, you said we'll go home today! Home? Yeah, home! I haven't bought our house yet, idiot. Our house? Iwaizumi grumbled some more and tossed and turned restlessly. Iwa, come on, get up! Iwaizumi hit the floor with a thud and got up, glaring at Oikawa. What the hell, Kuzukawa? I was sleeping. You didn't wake up, and I want to go home now. Jesus, fuck, you're annoying as hell. It was when he got up and put on a shirt. He glanced at the clock and sighed before making his way into the bathroom. Oigawa should have woken him up earlier. Iwa-chan, look! It was when he leaned into where Oikawa was sitting on the tree. There were no more seats except for one, and it made sense to give it to the brunette. Hmm? It's the third hottest day of the month, apparently. And you got fans making you gameplay compilations! They have a whole account dedicated to you, I'm jealous! Oiko, are you an idiot? You have fans at your games who make you compilations. But they're mostly about my stupid pretty face and not my skills! It's unfair. Hmm, point made. Iwazumi just smirked at Oikawa and stood back straight again, totally ignoring Oikawa's spout. He watched the scenery change to somewhere familiar and bit his cheek. Hot day and we're back at home with no AC. Fuck. The train halted to a stop and Oikawa was fast to take his hand and lead him to his home. Oikawa stopped dragging me. Oops, sorry. Oikawa slowed down his steps but didn't let go of his hands. Iwazumi loved his best friend, really. He'd love to keep holding his hand, but it's the middle of the summer and Iwaizumi knows how easy his hands sweat. Even more when he's nervous. Oikawa hand, give it back. But I want to hold your hand! We're not kids anymore though. Plus, my hands are getting sweaty. Oikawa stopped and let go of his hands. Stupid Iwachan! Iwaizumi just smacked Oikawa's head and ran back to the Oikawa house with his best friend hot on his heel. Oh, Uncle Iwaizumi! It's nice to see you here, Uncle Turo's where? He's on his way, I got myself a head start. You're running in his heat. You're pretty dumb, Uncle. I see that you've finally adopted the Oikawa mouth. Hajime, this Oikawa mouth is on Turo as well. And I see you staring at Turo's Oikawa mouth, yes? It was me flushed red and raised his hands in defeat, shaking his head to ask Oikawa's mother to drop it. Auntie, I'm not sure. I knew it! You were staring at my mouth! Iwazumi whipped around to see Oikawa pointing at him, hair wild from running and panting so hard. I wasn't. He was. He was. You were! Kusukawa, I wasn't. Haji! You're so red! Haji, Haji, Haji. Oikawa called him Haji. He could faintly hear Takeru cackling and Oikawa's mother calling after him as he stomped his way to Toru's room and locking himself in it. Oikawa only gave him under five minutes to compose himself before knocks were heard. You and I have to talk, Iwa. I'm jumping out the window if you open that door. Alright, grumpy face. I'll just wait out here. A thump sounded. Iwazumi exhaled and inhaled, a face buried in Oikawa's bed. When he felt his face go down, he sat against the door and knocked slowly two times on the wall. I'm here. Three knocks replied. Are you fine? Three rapid knocks and one heavy knock. You think? No. One knock, okay? A small thud from a finger knocking. Okay. Can I come in? I'm not mad. Why the fuck would you be mad? You were staring at my mouth for minutes, even, and it's a creep thing to do. A punch at the wall and Oikawa snickered knowing Iwaizumi was flustered behind the wall. 
The snicker was cut short though because the door opened. It was me hauling him to his bed and climbing on top of him. Whoa. Iwaizumi just headbutted him and plopped on top of him. Ew, that hurts! Shut up, goddamn headache. Arms curled up around him and Iwaizumi forcefully rolled to lay beside Oikawa instead. I hate you, says your hyperfixation on my mouth. I do not have a hyperfixation on your damn mouth. Right, you have a hyperfixation on my mouth, hands, habits, attitude, anything else? Fuck you, shut up, Kusukawa Tashikawa, stupid Kawa. Aw, is it hard to say you like me? Oikawa rolled to his side and pulled Iwaizumi's waist to bring him closer. Iwaizumi could feel the heat of Oikawa's eyes on his face. Yes, asshole, your head will grow big and that's just another problem for me, idiot. As much as I'm happy that you know me so well, I also want that kiss you owe me. Oh you? Since when did I owe you a goddamn kiss? Iwaizumi elbowed Oikawa as he glared at the brunette. Owie! Treat boyfriend with care, please! Boyfriend? Hell no. Sucks, Hajime. Oikawa rolled on top of him and grabbed his chin. Their lips crashed, persistent and surprised until it melded into mutual desperation. They pulled apart breathless and panting, from the heat of the sun or from the heat of their kiss. Both can't seem to care. Yeah, boyfriend. And 